Oh, come on. Check that out. Those are the uh, inhabitants of my belly coming out finally. And lidocaine cream. It's the lidocaine cream that uh, puts them to sleep and they can't uh, metabolize. And they eventually uh, fester out and, and it takes a while. Man, they are tough, 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 tough. Um, and if you want to get rid of them, you've got to be tough, 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 too. Um, and it's not easy and it's not comfortable, but these guys are mm, the result of they are a weapon of war. We lost a war about a hundred thousand years ago, and our planet is in possession of people who think we're cattle. They eat us, and this is part of the preparation. It is in me, and you, and everybody we've ever known. So, do you know those guys over in Tibet that shave their head? It's one of the reasons they do it. They figured this stuff out. Um, it has to do with big pharma medicine and foods were given and ideas were given because uh, the ideas are important because nobody actually wants to volunteer to be cattle. Right? Nobody would be happy if they knew that's what was going on, but... Um, it's been going on for a long time, 100,000 years, and uh, this is the, the fourth iteration, actually, the, this is the third world. There have been three ice ages in the past 100,000 years, and it's caused by global warming. And so uh, there, there wasn't actually any dead dinosaurs involved with petroleum oil. It's dead people, you know, and, and they turn us into goop and eat us. They're, they're hive-type critters, and you can see um, the outline here of kind of a, a bug, like a big head. And it, it, it's a little beak thing was sticking down inside of me. Into there. And it was sitting over my heart. And we've been working on extraction of it. Uh, and it's like a big beetle. Right? It looks like a big beetle or, or more like a, a, a lice because they're parasites. It's not just me. It's not because I was dirty or anything else. No. It's inside all of us and it's what kills us before our first century. We don't actually have to die that quickly. I mean, you can, and <laughs> there's no guarantees, right? You, one day to the next. Um, let's put some juice on there. So this is the, the secret right here. <laughs> numbs away pain, and it also numbs away these guys. And I've been using lidocaine patches, okay? And you cover them with patches, and they, uh, and they die. Okay, so so the the really strange thing was that at first I had burns all over my belly. I can get this patch off down here. Uh, 
Um, think about <laughs> think about this. This is really weird. This is like like way up there at the top of my weird shit o meter and a little bit beyond, man. <laughs> Because I want you to think about the beehive and and uh, and honeycombs planting eggs, okay. and so as I'm covering these with patches, and I then come along with my lidocaine cream and my my gubby fingernails here. And go <coughs> like this, and I pull little fucking eggs out of those things, man. Little round, hard, not so hard sometimes, balls. And occasionally they hatch and they turn into a little black thing that crawls off and latches onto your skin and turns into another one of these damn bugs. And they breed on our skin. And everybody has them. You know those, uh, those little blips on your fingers? You know, around your thumbs and fingernails? That's what those are. They're the forerunners to scar tissue in our body. And they... Um, Kill us. They literally eat us alive. So. I'm getting rid of mine, and I'll let you know how it goes. It's not magic. It's like a long, slow, painful process. And then... I'm winning this so far. And, you know, I mean, it... This looks actually about 10,000 times better than it did last week. And I can touch it and wear a shirt and stuff like that these days. Um, and there's very little blood and there's very little pain. It itches pretty much. It itches like mad. Because they bind radiation. And when I pull them out, with these little blips where, the, where these sores are is not just where they were sucking things. Their little suckers have radioactive bips in them. Um, and they stay there. And they fester in our skin. It causes gray hairs. Um, skin tags. A little what what uh, people would call uh, benign tumors, okay. But in if I turn out the light, hey Joe, would you turn that light out, please? Okay, we are in the dark, and and my camera sees the red anyway, brightly. See how bright that is? Because it's radioactive, man, uh, and and hot. It, it, we're seeing the the infrared from the heat from beta emissions of the radioactive shit in my skin, and sometimes alpha emissions and. You know what 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 they latch on to a lot of times is um, radioactive iodine that's been pumped into my body during uh, um, investigations trying to figure out why I hurt so bad. They couldn't figure out why my belly was cramping all the time. Somebody was laying eggs in it, and, and they were radioactive. Right there on top of my gut, and, and feeding off of the food in my gut. That hurt. They couldn't figure it out, because they didn't know it was, A, that it was radioactive, 
and they didn't know that it was parasites. When I started suspecting some sort of parasites, I went to the doctor. Five different doctors. Five different doctors, man. Each of which said the same exact thing, <laughs> word for word, verbatim, with the same threats and the same mm, arrogance that I was picking at myself nervously. And, and I got to tell you, I am not a nervous person, and I had never been a nervous person. And when I told them, so they scoffed, of course. And they told me that uh, we don't have parasites here in the United States, and um, that can be taken with a grain of salt from people who don't work too very hard and tell other people shit like that. You can go down to Walgreens and uh, buy um, life medicine for, you know, putting on your crotch, right? Uh, on your hair. And uh, it actually works on these guys pretty good because that's what they are. And they're big fuckers and they live inside of us, all of us. Uh, my wife has them um, also, and I'm sure, you know, proximity to me, but... Um, we use this lidocaine cream and hemp seed oil mixed together. And hemp seed oil helps it move into the skin, okay? And it numbs these guys, and they quit to uh, quit biting you, quit hurting. Um, and, and the little eggs come out and go like this, and and. Uh, you know, you don't have to use your fingernails. You can use like a, you know, something like this, you know, and just scrape it off. Something clean, so that uh, or something that you can keep clean too, of course, so that uh, you can scrape the things off. And and when you do so, um, you you get like a, like kind of yellow things that where they where they build up. Uh, I don't know that I have any there that are visible, but um, cleaning myself is uh, not picking nervously. What what happened here was I was removing that patch, and after uh, I don't know two weeks of continuous coverage with a lidocaine patch. It finally gave up enough, and I've been picking out the little bits and pieces of it, but this was the main point of contact. And it's right in my heart, man. <laughs> right in my heart. And this is right on the other end, and, and, and it's attached, like in this kind of dished out place here in my chest all the way to my backbone whoa huh so breathing has been kind of a hard thing to do for me most of my life they, they didn't just show up here they've been there all along i've had this caved in chest all of my life so, and getting the patches off <laughs> uh, is a lot easier with a lot of lidocaine cream on it. And this guy came out too. This was the other end of it, and it's right over my backbone. And uh, when I first started working on this, I started yanking on it where that black thing is. And it's black like that because you're seeing... Alpha emissions. Alpha particles, two protons flying out of there at light speed, and it's, there's so much of it 
Um, and then, then there's like a neutron short thing, and they, it starts absorbing energy. Um, and it causes necrosis, death of the cells in the nearby flesh. So uh, that's kind of what you see in there. You see in the the radiation, and, and remember, this is at night. See how purpley and pink, <laughs> purpley it is. That's why, because that's beta emissions, right there where they were, where where it was attached, and. And uh, it's big. <laughs> it's like, like the size of my thumb type big. And it goes down to my backbone and, and we're, we're getting it out. And it's been a long, painful process. This is the first time that I've actually been able to see the bottom of that hole. We have made victory one more time. And these guys are the, the, like the mother and father of the hive. And they are not happy about it. They're still alive and malevolent and, and they're aware. They're the, the, the hive. And the individual things can come and go but the hive mind remains, and they are male and female, and they live inside of us, and they don't negotiate with cattle as a general rule. They, they won the war, and they, they are an interstellar race. They, they take other people's stars and eat them. It's right up there at the top of my weird shit-o-meter brothers and sisters. But I'm not making it up, man. 